today on Mike Attempts, DIY wet dry vac gutter cleaning extension. I bought two of these long sweep elbows, a coupler, two eight foot sections of this two inch central vacuum tubing, also referred to as Schedule 20 PVC, which is very lightweight compared to standard Schedule 40 PVC. And this two foot section of two inch ABS pipe which slips perfectly over the PVC tubing. I also picked up this 2 inch rubber coupler just in case I needed a tighter connection between the wet dry vax extension wand and the PVC tubing, but I didn't end up needing it. All the parts I ended up using cost me less than $25. I'll put the part numbers and some links in the description below. I only bought the white PVC coupler because I thought I could use it instead of the black ABS pipe to join the two 8 foot sections of central vacuum tubing. However, after a quick test I realized it would not provide enough support for the highest section unless I used PVC cement. PVC cement isn't an option for me because I needed to come apart in the center so I can clean the first story gutters and for easy storage. But, I already have the coupler, so I decided to cut it in half and use it as a stop when inserting one of the sections into the wet tri vax extension wand. I could have also just cut two 1 inch rings off the black ABS pipe and used those if I didn't have the PVC coupler. I deburred the edges with a razor knife and some sandpaper. Now the rings fit snugly on the PVC tubing. Next, I cut a very short 1 and 5 8 inch section to join the two elbows. Then, from the same piece of tubing, I cut another 5 and 3 4 inch section for the end piece that will go down into the gutter. I cut 4 notches into the end piece by first drilling holes and then cutting the edges with the razor knife. This will allow me to scrape the bottom of the gutter while also preventing the end from constantly sticking itself to the bottom of the gutter because of the suction power. I dry fit the pieces together to make sure I was happy with everything before gluing. Here's what it will look like fully assembled. I cleaned all of the cut ends and fittings with rubbing alcohol and then glued everything together with silicone top. I chose silicone because I wanted to be able to take the pieces apart if I needed to tweak anything. During testing, this happened. 
Yeah. The PVC tubing disconnected from the elbow because of the twisting and maneuvering I was doing from the ground. So I decided to use PVC cement on this one connection. I put silicone on the top 12 inches of the shorter PVC tube and inserted it halfway into the 24 inch ABS pipe. I glued the PVC rings about 12 inches from the bottom of both tube sections. Here are the two sections all glued up. Gravity and suction will keep all of the unglued slide-in connections tight. I decided to do this project because I was sick of climbing up the ladder, cleaning a short section, climbing back down, moving the ladder, and repeating this process dozens of times. I only have one minor complaint with this design. You have to work directly beneath the gutter, which makes your neck a bit sore after prolonged use. But hey, a sore neck is way better than a broken one from falling off the ladder. Also, my gutters have the support hangers inside the trough, so every couple of feet, I had to lift the end up and over each one. Other options would be to attach the vacuum hose to the exhaust port and blow the leaves out of the gutter, build something similar that connects to a garden hose to spray out the gutters, or buying a retail version of this vacuum extension. I decided against the first two because they'd make a huge mess, and the retail options are expensive for a two-story house. I recently cleaned well over half of my gutters before building the vacuum extension, but I was still able to suck out this much debris. Again, check the description below for part numbers and links. Feel free to rate this video, add your comments and questions below, and subscribe for more.